What's up guys? Welcome back and today we're going to be working on Jeffrey's 86. So what we're going to do today is finally start doing paint prep. I'm going to be taking off uh, pretty much everything except for the fenders, the hood and certain little things. I'm going to be trying to fix the hood as much as I can and we're going to be doing maybe RTV to the skeleton to try to make it uh, stiffer again so it's not so wobbly and just taking everything off. So taking off the side mirrors, the window visors, the corner lights, but we are going to be leaving the fenders on uh, just because we got to paint it like that. It's going to be a lot easier to do it that way. Uh, let's take off the skirts again so that we can prep the skirts separately and paint that. That's the only thing getting painted. And the 86 is going to be actually kind of easy to paint because we're not painting the bumpers or anything. We're just painting pretty much the body. And so, uh, yeah, it's going to be starting now. And then uh, I'll kind of update you guys as I go so you don't really have to watch everything I do. Um, so I'm just going to update you guys as we go. All right, so it's a new day and we've moved the Corolla to over here because uh, we're going to be sanding it and didn't want to get the concrete dirty. So this will be a lot better. And you guys want to look at the Corolla. Everything is off now. Uh, all the bumpers, all the trims. And I've taken off the door handles. Kind of sucks because I uh, broke a few clips because everything's so old. All of this is off. Got to take these little trims off. Still have to take off this uh, lock right here. And everything is okay. This trunk kind of sucks. Um, Blown replaced this before because the original owner dynamited everything and you can see the result of it still here We tried to remove it before but I might remove it all and kind of just put the work in to get rid of all this tar because uh, it's pretty bad and There's pretty bad rust here that I just sprayed over we might just paint this part black um, it's not really gonna affect how the car looks because the bumper is gonna go over it But if I paint it black and then I could fix this later and just respray it black again And it won't affect the overall paint job. I still have to get a welder So we're not able to fix this or address this yet, but should be okay uh, This I'm not gonna fiberglass because I want it done correctly uh, Usually it'll capture moisture and just kind of rust more but everything is good just have to do body work on this part because i think it already has like an inch of bondo from the previous owner everything is uh pretty much ready to go though gonna be sanding everything down we took off the wheels and uh that way nothing gets dirty and messed up the hood is gonna be a big issue because we have to get the hood uh straight might be this much bondo on top of it but uh, we'll see how it goes and as I work on that or before we get to that car I'll show you guys my new wheels that I got for the for my coupe and I've had these wheels for a while now just haven't shown them and I just put tires on them I'm kind of sad and a little bit upset because I took it to the tire shop and this is what happens when you move to a new town and you don't really know like which tire shops are good or not and uh, they put on my wheels and when they put on the little weights to uh, balance the wheel out they grinded it down with like a air grinder instead of like just cleaning it and stuff i know my wheels were kind of dirty but i feel like there's no excuse for it uh you should just clean it up and just put it on if it falls off it falls off but to grind someone's wheels down and uh, remove the paint and stuff I, I feel like that's being lazy and uh i don't know i didn't see it until it was too late so there's really nothing i could do i couldn't even go and complain because uh, i didn't know until i got home because i paid for it and we loaded it up and then i just got home so it's all right though uh these wheels they're kind of beat because they're used so i'll probably repaint them in the future but uh these are the wheels for my 86 coupe and they are the UAO spec TE 37s 14 by 7 zero offset and I just got uh, some Falcon tires for it these are Falcons but they're like Falcons cheap brand they're Otsus I was gonna go 205 50 on these to get more of the bubble look which I like but 
I didn't want to spend like five, six hundred bucks on tires yet. And I really wanted them on. So I got these cheap tires for now. And uh, once these wear out, I'll probably get the right tires and repaint these wheels. They are pretty beat. They were used for track purposes in Japan. So, I mean, they're not perfect anyways. But I feel like, you know, it doesn't matter. These are expensive wheels that I bought. And they should still be treated as such. Uh, you can see the grinding here. They grind it a lot more than they didn't even need to. And I feel like you don't even need to grind it. Because it's these are double side tape. And honestly, if it falls off, it falls off. It's not going to make a big deal. But... They went to town on these wheels, which is uh, pretty upsetting because, you know, it's very expensive wheels and it sucks. So that's it right there. Here's the other one. They grinded it down pretty bad. Look at that. He went all the way over here where he didn't need to. And um, I mean, I should have cleaned them down beforehand, but honestly, I feel like that's not an excuse for the shop to have to grind down the wheels. Uh, I've, I've never seen this done before, and uh, it's pretty bad, you know, but but it's all right. You live and learn, and uh, and hopefully I can find a tire shop that actually cares about wheels here and uh, treat it better. But you know what? I think I might just go ahead and buy a tire uh, changer and balancer for myself because I feel like the only person that would care about your wheels is yourself and so it's not too bad it's like 2500 and i feel like that's an investment that's going to be worth it in the long end because i have so many cars and i have so many tires that i'm always changing to so uh i think that's going to be a great investment for the future so i might be buying one in the future and uh yeah but here's the other wheels and let me see Here's the grinding here. Honestly, it's pretty bad. I don't care. I feel like it doesn't matter how dirty the wheels are or whatever. You shouldn't be grinding wheels down like this. And I feel like that's pretty bad. I've, Like I said, I've never seen that done before. So I didn't know they were going to do that. But uh, you live and learn, I guess, right? And... The good thing is these aren't brand new wheels. If they did that to like my newer wheels, I'll be uh, pretty upset. But you know, it's okay. Uh, at the end of the day, they're just wheels. So let's go ahead and put them on 86 and see how they look. I mean, I'm super excited for these wheels regardless. So these are pretty much the dream wheels for my coupe. And yeah, so what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and move my car. We have a lot of grass here that grows and you can see it grows into the cars and I kind of want to move it out a little more so I could kind of clean up this area. And what I want to do is kind of dig the dirt up. You can see it's a hill and I need to dig it up so that I'll have a lot more room because uh, we do plan on putting the, the paint booth here and I'm just gonna buy like a carport so I could paint the car in. But I'm gonna need more room because it's gonna be like 10 feet by 20 or 10 feet by 17 feet. So I'm gonna need a lot more room on this side so I could actually have room to put the cars in. But yeah, let me go ahead and uh, move this car first and then we'll go ahead and go from there. All right, so the wheels are finally on and are you guys ready to see it? These are the wheels right here. And it looks so good. The tire size is not that great. It's not the best like sizing for these wheels. So I will be getting 205 50s later, uh, but these are 60 series and you can see it doesn't look that amazing, but these wheels look so good on this car. They're so light compared to uh, everything else. And it looks amazing in this view right here. Sorry, the lighting's not that great, but man, I love these wheels. These are like one of the dream wheels for me for the 86. You could check out this side. I don't know how well you guys could see it. But yep, looks really good. And they're not the cleanest wheels, like I said, and now they're kind of messed up on the inside. But it's fine. I'm going to be probably painting them again later on in the future um i have some bronze paint that i'll probably paint it the same color maybe get the stickers and i know they make like the back stickers for it too with your code and everything so i'll probably be doing that for these wheels but for now i just want them on the car and um 
pretty happy with how it looks like now and once i get uh coilovers in the future it's gonna look a lot better i could lower them a little bit more you can see the back is pretty sunken in and i want to bring it out a little more so i'll probably have to get spacers for this side however the front looks perfect i love how it's super flush with the fender and that's kind of where i want these so these will stay the way they are and look how much room there is so i plan to do the fc caliper swap so it's going to be perfect and then we've already test fitted these for it and it fits perfectly for these and so i do need to wash these wheels and get them all cleaned up i mean i probably should have done that before i put the tires on but it's okay got new valve stems and uh it looks amazing super happy with these um really excited to drive them later to see how they feel and yeah man super happy with these so i test fitted the side skirts uh these are jeffrey's oem skirts and they don't fit because i have this trim right here so i'm gonna have to cut this piece off because it's different I know the JDM ones are a little shorter or the different sizes for these because they do come with the side skirt option where we didn't have, where we never got that in the US. So I will be cutting them and it's okay because uh, the side skirts are going to cover it up anyways. And I have my reps that I need to do update on. I stopped working on them because I was moving at the time and so I do want to finish those off and once we do that, I can put the skirts on this car and i do want to get some side skirts for my hatch too so i'll probably get the same thing uh, i don't really want to spend like 12 to 1300 dollars on oem skirts so i'll probably just get some replicas again for my hatch uh, side skirts aren't really that big of a deal for me because they just kind of sit on the side and it doesn't really matter if they're fiber glass or not for me because you're never really going to hit anything but yeah so this is the car guys I really want to put the lights on and the spoiler but I need to get a welder first to get certain things done and I don't really want to leave it out in the sun getting baked all the time so what I'm gonna do is actually get a car port so I could put my 86 in and be able to work on that I know they make like LED strips so I could light up the port too so I could work on it kind of as late as I want to because right now I'm limited to daylight and with me working I only get maybe like an hour or two throughout the day and it really sucks I wish I could just do this full-time guys uh, YouTube so I could just work on my cars and kind of get everything rolling but with uh, limited time I'm only able to do so much per day and like I said I'm deleting these and we're just gonna be working on stuff slowly um, finding these 11 these fender trims or just fender trims in general is so hard so what I'm gonna do is actually just fill up these holes and just finish it off and and I'm not gonna record it but I'll update you guys on it I'm just going to fiberglass everything uh, just to get it done because I really want to just finish these projects and like I said with limited time uh, cutting it and welding everything is going to take about like a month or so realistically to finish all the body work and everything it's gonna be a lot of work and honestly right now i just want my cars finished i want them painted i want it done so i could work on other parts of the cars and so yeah i'm just going to be fiberglassing these fenders adding more bondo to it like it was before and i think it's going to be okay i'm going to fix all these holes as you can see when they put the bondo on they didn't fill up these holes at all so it just started cracking and it wasn't that great of a job so i'll show you guys kind of how i do it and I think it'll be a better job or it'll be done better than this because uh, you can't really just bundle stuff without actually having something to bind on or it will just eventually crack. And so I'm gonna be uh, chopping off these back pieces that are over here, these tabs, and I'm going to be fiberglassing the back so the bundle actually has something to grab onto. And then uh, once we do that, I think it'll look a lot better. So yeah, that's gonna be the plans for this. I'm just gonna fiberglass this too so that I could actually keep these fenders as spares. It's always nice to have spares for your car, mostly a car this old. And these aren't the greatest shape, but they'll be nice spares if I do get in a, like a fender bender or something. And so I really do wanna hold on to these spares because finding fenders now 
are pretty impossible. I mean, you could get like fiberglass replacements and stuff like that, but OEM stuff is kind of hard to come by now. So I really don't want to mess these up and use these as donors. So we're just going to go kind of the ghetto route, but it should be okay. Uh, I'm going to do everything as nice as I can so that the car will still turn out amazing in the end. And so, yeah, that's going to be it. And then, um, yeah, still a lot of things for the S14. The 86 I'm going to work on. So I'll probably end the video here. I do want to just blow through everything so I could get everything done real quick so that, uh, you know, we could get better content for you guys because I know nobody likes to watch body work. It's kind of boring. So I'll update you guys uh, in the next video uh, how everything's going. And in the next video, I should be pretty far along with the coupe. Uh, and then I'm going to be doing some stuff to my hatch too. I'm going to be fiberglassing those fenders and filling those in. So yeah, I'll update you guys as I go. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Peace.